Welcome back to the channel guys. We're up at Hawker at the moment. It's about, what, um, how many far away from Wyler is it? About 200k. About 200k from home. And you can see, I don't even see that, that's the uh, Alpina Pound, the cliffs over there. Look at these amazing cliffs over here. We've been up here on the bikes with Kenny, but we didn't come up this way. But we, hopefully we're in the right spot, there's a big storm heading our way. The thing is about, it's still like maybe an hour away, maybe less, but that cloud there looks pretty cool. So fingers crossed we're in the right spot. So we're still on a time lapse at the moment of the sun coming over the over the Rupina Pound. Hopefully that turns out. I'm gonna get my other camera set up for the lining just in case. Okay, we're back soon guys. Alright guys, I'm just putting my lightning trigger on. So I need to get use this during the day because I can't do any long exposures to capture the lightning because it's just too much bright light and it would just overexpose the image. Don't even see the rain over there, it's like rain rain seems to be blowing down. Oh, they've got a wind change now. We did have a northerly, now we've got a Southern end is a bit fresh at the moment. Just don't know which way to aim the camera. Might just stop this time, let's aim the other way. I'll just bring you guys over, give you a better look at it. Another camera. <coughs> really don't, don't know which way to aim the camera for the lining. Obviously never been here before, but those clouds look here look pretty cool. You can see that cliffs there, it's amazing. What a, what a landscape, I can't believe it. Oh mate, Neville's back in Port Augusta, I think he's heading this way, but I think it might be too late. See, they're all, yeah. that's this little one. Yeah. Right, and there's a couple down there, but this one here, I reckon is gonna come straight towards us where we are. I reckon that's all that there. Spirit that old. might be that small one, this bit here. Yeah. Which is why I'm just going to shoot a time lapse of that. This cloud's going yep. past this one hills here. But I reckon the one we're after is out there, that lot there. Because that's at least another hour away yeah. from us. Yeah, yep. You know, it's a fair way off. <coughs> I'm just doing a time lapse on this cliff over here. Look at those clouds going past, it should look pretty cool. Time that I start that. No, yeah, and it's just stopped. <sighs> Camera's come up with an error. It's not good timing. Pull the battery back out and see if that's fixed. Well, let's see if it keeps going. Stopped again. Well, she started again. I'm gonna do a four second interval in the time lapse. Let's bring you guys over here a bit further. 
and if you can see this cloud over here it looks pretty amazing I love shooting in different locations I've never shot here before be awesome if we can get some nice lining coming over those cliffs but because it's daytime the lighting will not stand out as much because it's too much ambient light. That's why I use a trigger. The trigger will pick up the lightning. See at night time you can do long exposures, set your camera the manual and uh, F7, something like that, F8, or it depends what the how close the lighting is and how bright it is. And uh, got to do a manual manual focus because you can't let the camera hunt because at night time you'll be hunting for focus so if you've got street lights around you or anything like that you can use to focus your camera on the street lights so it's nice and sharp and then you go to affinity on your lens and then you do like a 20 second exposure 20 second 25 seconds some people use bold but I just like to go to 20 seconds and uh, but if you've got lightning bolts in, in that 30 seconds, you'll capture the lightning in the, in the, in the image. And the camera stopped again. No, it doesn't like it. doesn't like the time. She's had this camera for years. I don't think she's just... If we can get light to come over these cliffs, it would be amazing. There's a nice cloud structure over there, actually, just in a moment. I might just move you guys and my camera down here. Now you can see those cliffs a bit better. Got a bit better angle here. Well, it's looking good over there now, guys. Look, I don't know if you can see the look at the clouds. This is the first time I'm using the 360 out in the open. I did it up Hummock Kill a couple of weeks ago, but I was in a shelter. Now I've got a bit more open space. really get to use the camera I can do the 360 complete no roof above my head so look at the radar again always like to keep, check the radar make sure it's still building up and still heading our way it's got my first lightning alarm mark it's got a lightning alarm guys, so hopefully heading our way. There's that stuff going past us I reckon. Yeah. So I think there's a some lightning in that cloud just there, but behind the, the hit those hills. Which is going past us. We're looking for the stuff out this way. Can't hear any thunder or anything. It's, it's pretty windy though. All right guys, Mark just saw a massive bolt just out here. Don't hear thunder from this front, this cell coming at us here. So I've got my camera set up. So you can just wave your hand in front of the, my lightning set trigger, picks the camera up and just take a photo. So I'm just checking my exposure. Hearing more thunder out there, Mark. So I'll do a 360. I do a 360 view of where we are at the moment, it's just amazing. Check this out guys. 
What an awesome spot, eh? Just check it out. It's surrounded by mountains, huge big cliff, um, cliff peaks. And hopefully another front coming out of us this way. Are you joking? Over here? Yep, right in between where I'm aiming at the moment. I can turn my, th I can turn my 360 camera around later and see it. Enjoy. Yeah. How's it going past us, is it? No, no, that's the place that it'll come in this way, mate. Mate, you saw a massive bolt, so I can turn the camera around and post. Well, it's not one either. There's another one out there. Mark's making me move everywhere. I can't, I can't keep up. So we're actually seeing some bolts now. Well, I haven't seen one yet. Mark has. How big was this one? How big was that one? This was multiple. Worth aiming my camera that way? Yeah. So you've got a dark grey text under it? Yep. Did you get that lightning strike? Sure did. Incredible. Let's all coming through. Looks like it. We had nothing left, so. I'll move my camera, guys. Is that automatically triggered? Right, just line my camera up again. <laughs> Let me check my focus. So we'll just check my exposure. So I'm sorry we're in the right spot, guys. Yeah. Oh, bolt just out there. <laughs> so feel with the road noise, guys, and we're right next to the main road here. Oh, I'm not aiming that way anymore. I can turn my 360 around. This is the glory. I mean, this is the first time I've used my 360 in a storm, and now it's lighting all around me. I can turn my camera around there and post and look at it. So hopefully it picks up the bolts. Yeah, I just can't see the line behind that hill, that mountain there. So hopefully it comes down this little gap here. There's another big bolt just over there, Mark. <laughs> no, nah, go for it, mate. You're right. I'll make you out that way. Anyway. <laughs> that was a good trip. Oh, blue hit um, red healer. Beautiful dogs. So, in the right spot, you reckon, Mark? <laughs> in the right spot? I think we've done pretty good, mate. I did say come and try these hills if you're right. Yep. Literally, there's 100 plus going up north from where we are here, so... And it's good that we... those clouds there, and that's all coming this way. It's good that it's got a phone reception still, we can still check the radar. Exactly. So I'm getting excited, guys. Bring it on. Yep. Oh! Another big bolt. Oh, it's still a long way away, I can see it. Yep. Right, guys, it's sort of raining again now, put the camera back on. Get them huge bolts out this way, oh, in the thunder. You're driving into the rain, you've got any further, mate. Yeah, I reckon, uh, I reckon at least 
So hopefully the lightning come right down that way. You see the rain coming? Yeah. You see the, the rain coming up here, guys. Oh, massive bolt. Have you got that, guys? Wow, guys, I just heard the hugest thunder crack right above our heads, and I wasn't recording because it was raining. So I'm trying to hide my camera and my jacket. The camera went off, but I don't know if I got it, though. Just hope got no water on my lens. I have to pack up, it's getting too wet. Right guys, I couldn't do my usual outro because it started raining. It was actually pouring down. So I just want to give a quick voice over to say thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. 209 subscribers, unbelievable, can't believe it. Um, if you want to come to the next storm, storm chase, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And summer's coming soon, all those bigger storms will be coming, and then hopefully some bigger lightning bolts. So I hope you see you soon guys. Thanks again for thanks again for your support. Bye.